morning, we continue our series early on the case, stolen identities, ID theft like you've never seen before. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen says that a growing form of identity theft can make you sick. We're talking about medical ID theft. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Maggie. This crime involves someone pretending to be you and getting all kinds of medical treatment from simple medications to life-saving operations. And if someone steals your medical ID, you can get stuck with bills totaling hundreds of thousands of dollars. When Brandon Sharp tried to buy a new home, the loan officer had some bad news. There was a problem with his credit. I didn't know what they could possibly be talking about, and uh, I just, I was complete shock. Brandon's credit report was littered with unpaid medical bills, totaling thousands of dollars. I have always had insurance through my company, and um, if I ever needed to go to an emergency room, it would be covered, and I have never done that and not paid a bill. Turns out, Brandon was the victim of medical ID theft. I had no idea where my identity had been stolen. Someone used his social security number to get medical care. One of the bills was for a medical helicopter, totaling more than $19,000. If medical ID theft happens to you, you're screwed. Robert Siciliano is CEO of IDTheftSecurity.com. He says that medical ID theft is a serious and growing problem. Any type of medical procedures that you can think of, someone can get under your name. According to the Federal Trade Commission, more than 200,000 people fall victim to medical ID theft each year. This form of ID theft can wreak havoc on a victim. It can lead to changes in your insurance rates, changes to your credit report, even changes to your medical file. Which means that if this person has allergies to certain medications, if they have certain uh, health ailments, that is going to show up on your medical record and affect your ability to get health insurance. Shouldn't somebody be checking to make sure you are who you are when you go to the hospital? There's no question about it. Siciliano says hospitals and doctor's offices score about a C- minus when it comes to identifying and authenticating patients when they check in. Now if I can have you lift up your palm and come back one more time. But some hospitals, like this medical center in North Carolina, are now using high-tech tools at check-in to prevent fraud. Patients wave their hands over a scanner, and their medical history is retrieved instantly, and their identification is verified. All right, thank you, sir. This one's for 187. This is another 187. Brandon Sharp says he has been hounded by debt collectors because of unpaid medical bills. And clearing his name has been tough. I feel, you know, violated like someone's in my life that shouldn't be and doing things that I wouldn't normally do in my life. To protect yourself from medical ID theft, here are a few things you can do. First, check the explanation of benefits when you get it in the mail, line by line, to make sure it's correct. Don't just throw it away. And if your wallet is stolen, notify your insurance company that your insurance card is gone and someone may try to use it, Maggie. But if this does happen to you, as we heard so eloquently in your piece, you're screwed. For how long? You know, in some cases, it can take months, years. Our experts said sometimes it's a lifetime. You may never get rid of this if this person keeps using your ID to get medical treatment. It's tough. Wow. Susan Copen, thank you.